So one of the most difficult things to make a selection of is hair. However, once you learn the techniques in this tutorial, you'll be able to cut out hair like a pro. So here's the image you're going to be working on and the final edit. How cool is that? So if you want to follow along and complete this project, this image can be found in your resources folder. Now, if you want to practice fixing the tonal range of the image, we have the original raw file too that you imported previously. And if I turn off my adjustment here, you'll notice it's much darker. And the histogram has a gap in the whites and the highlights. And this was the tone curve adjustments that I applied to fix the image. So if you want to do that, go ahead and practice making that adjustment, export it and open in GIMP, or just use the image that I provided. All right, so the first step in cutting out the hair, we need to create a new layer and it has to be a solid color. So we're going to go ahead and grab a dark color. Any color will work out just fine. Go ahead and name that layer color and then fill with the foreground color. And the reason why we're using this layer will become apparent later in the tutorial. Let's go ahead and move that layer below the image layer. Now let's grab our image layer and duplicate it. And now let's go ahead and desaturate the image by going up to colors, desaturate, desaturate, and okay. So the next step is key to cutting out her hair. What we need to do is we need to convert the shades of gray down to as few as possible. And the goal is, is to make that background as pure white as possible. So we're going to use our levels tool to do that. Let's start with our white point and dragging it to the left. And now we have a pure white background. The only problem is we're losing a lot of the detail in the hair and the stray hairs. And when I bring this back, you'll notice some of those stray hairs come back. So I'm going to place the white point right around 150 and I'm getting that number right here. Now to bring back and define that hair a little bit, we can grab our black point and bring it to the right. But again, if we go too far, then that white background is no longer white. So we have to find a happy medium between the two. So I'm going to bring this back to right around 20 to 25, maybe a little less. So I think closer to 20 is good. And then we can darken it up a little bit more if we wanted to with the mid tones here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So again, need to find that happy medium between pure white and retaining as much detail as possible. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So our next step is removing the background and we're going to do that with a layer mask. Now, before we apply a layer mask, we're going to copy all the pixels of this layer. So let's go up to edit and select copy visible. Let's grab our color image layer now because we're going to apply that layer mask on this one. So let's go ahead and add a white one. Now we're going to go back up to edit and select paste. And that's going to create what is known as a floating selection. So we need to anchor this layer with the one below, and then it's going to paste those pixels inside of the layer mask. So come down here and click on this little anchor icon. And now you can see those shades of gray in the layer mask. Let's go ahead and turn off this color layer and our black and white layer up here. And now our model is transparent. The only problem is I want the background to be transparent, not the model. So let's go ahead and invert the layer mask by going up to colors and selecting invert. All right, we can now see our model a lot better than before. The background is gone. The only problem is our model is too transparent. And that's where our color layer comes into play for us to help us redefine where our model should be or to see our model again. So with our layer mask selected, we're going to grab our paintbrush tool with the letter P. I'm going to start off with a fairly large brush here so I can cover as much of the image as possible. And we're going to paint with white to add our back. So now I just need to go around the image to reveal all the pixels or our subject again so that she's not green or transparent if that layer is off. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quickly. Don't want to spend a lot of time on this now that you know how to do it, but I have one more thing I want to share with you before we wrap up this tutorial. So the one thing you may have noticed is her hair 
has a little bit of a glow to it, at least along the stray hairs here. And we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Let me go ahead and finish up her shoulder here. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now, of course, I would come in with the smaller brush and get in along these edges here to refine that a little bit so we can see her a little bit better. And now let's go ahead and get rid of that glow in the hair by going up to colors and selecting levels and grab your midpoint and drag it to the right. And that will minimize that glow. And again, you don't want to go too far. Otherwise, you're going to start losing too much detail in the hair. And in case you're wondering, the green or any color of your choice is just really to be used to help you see where you need to make adjustments. For example, I can see I have some green in her hair up here. And when the layer is turned off, it's really hard to tell.